This is a look at a 1990 Egg Harbor 38 Golden Egg Sport Fish Boat. I'm Brian Marotti with Waterline Boats. This will be uh, the exterior video tour. I'm also doing one for the interior of the boat. This is a big 38 foot boat with a 15 foot beam. Typically um, an East Coast boat. They're rare out here and uh, designed for uh, sport fishing and with uh, gracious accommodations inside. Here's a look at the uh, superstructure. What looks like a window at the front there is actually a painted facade of a window. It's uh, typical for these boats as part of their build and design. And uh, it's painted and it needs refinishing. There are some cracks in the paint there. The boat, uh, the rest of the salon is uh, nice tinted glass windows. So this boat has the classic sport fish uh, perch, a uh, very high flying bridge with a heavy aluminum structure around it. There's a uh, canvas top and um, enclosure as well. And now we're moving back to the cockpit area. You'll have a look at that and a look at the ladder to reach the uh, uh, flying bridge. Now that is the steering station for the boat. All controls are up there so that the main cabin can feature accommodations. And there's a look at the cockpit. Again, it's 15 feet wide and it is all set up with um, uh, both uh, a boarding step here and a swim step, boarding um, gate I should say. and. Um, cabinetry and other items for sport fishing that we'll take a look at here when we step into the cockpit. So we're inside the cockpit now and below the ladder is a complete uh, workstation for fishing. There's a uh, tackle boxes in the lockers, um, there's a freezer compartment, a sink, um, and plenty of storage in the built-in lockers. A teak door slides to enter the main cabin. And a look at the other storage spaces here. This is a big boat. Um, would have room for a lot of people in the cockpit. So we'll go up the ladder to the uh, flybridge next. So up here, you command a lofty and a wide view. Um, that's the design of these boats for a good lookout while still protecting the uh, occupants from the sun with the aluminum structure. We'll tilt down and take a look at the cockpit from a bird's eye view. In the base of the cockpit are also uh, a live bait well and a um, large fish hold. There's two seats here and there's also a, a settee forward of the helm station. We'll take a look at the helm station um, in more detail here in a moment. Twin 502 gas engines, very powerful boat. So as I mentioned, all controls are up here for the engines, safety systems like an automatic halon, fire suppression system, instrumentation, the anchor windlass control, and basic speed and depth information, displays, compass, and a place for a Simrad, um, a Lowrance, excuse me, Lowrance chart plotter. And a fish finder goes right there. Now other instruments are above and um, they're in a uh, storage, uh, safe storage, lockable storage here above the helm. This is part of the original design. And in there was also a color depth sounder fish finder. Um, there's a safety system for uh, gasoline fumes and a VHF radio and a knockout for adding other electronics. 
and in forward of the helm, as I mentioned, is a seat, a large seat, with um, space for guests, and everybody gets to look forward. A good look at the uh, foredeck here. A big classic yacht fish boat from the East Coast. Take a look at our interior tour. This is Brian Marotti, Waterline Boats.